Uh, is Jeannie there? Uh, Jeannie's outside smoking a cigarette. So okay. She, All right. she will be in a uh, Then... Do you guys do you guys want to do D and D since uh, uh, Jeannie's outside smoking a cigarette? Sure. Can I Bella, is it all right if you get bumped until the next break? Can I get three extra minutes than what I normally get? I don't know how many minutes you normally get you normally, anyway. You normally give us so. about fifteen minutes. Okay. And I need exactly eighteen minutes. Okay, I'll give you eighteen minutes. Uh, here, let me move out of the way. I have. I listen to you guys' podcast, and it's really weird because I sometimes I give you this like really soft introduction, and it's really weird to be listening to various tracks from this podcast and then hear, "Hello and welcome to another episode of." Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah, it's really bizarre, and it in no way fits with your podcast. But I know. I'm it's gonna, great. Yeah. Here, I, 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 gotta, give us our intro. I got a better oh. intro. I got a better intro. Okay. Just, um. <clears throat> What's up, motherfuckers? We're gonna talk about some shit right now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> this is Reverend Steve, and you're listening to D and D right here on NPR, National Public Radio. You're gonna be talking more, so you should move. So here you go. Here you go. You guys do your thing. Oh my fucking foot! So, Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going in on this one. Listen, oh, right on, right on. I'll be back, buddy. Whoa. Well, hello there, Juke the Duke. How are you? I'm well. How are you? <laughs> Willie, not Nelson. <laughs> First name, Willie. Middle name, not. Last name, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her face. What are we talking about today on conspiracy theory? <laughs> it's conspiracy schmeracy. Ah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I always watch it. Today we are here to talk about some conspiracy theories. Oh, really? My, my first theory is that all grandmothers are out to get us. You want to know why I think that? <laughs> Willie. <laughs> yes, I do in fact want to know why. Riddle me this, Willie. Have you ever seen a grandmother who does not knit? <laughs> you know what? I have not. I think they're going to knit a dome over America and suffocate us. <laughs> Fill with bed bugs. Suffocation by yarn. <laughs> I hate getting the little filaments from yarn stuck in your mouth. It's always in the back of the throat, you know what um, I mean? No, I do not, Willie. Oh. <laughs> you ever have a yarn blanket and you get the little silver ones? Where do the silver ones come from? <laughs> what kind of sheep do those come from? <laughs> a gay sheep. Just kidding. Homosexuality is a sin. <laughs> Homophobia. <laughs> you fucked it. Just kidding. Homophobia is a sin. <laughs> Okay, no, for real, though, um, <laughs> grandmas, in normal voice, um, <laughs> just one more word of wisdom from, what's my name again? <laughs> Juke the Duke. My, before my mama passed away, she left me with two words of wisdom. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> Sick beat ghost. <laughs> All right, no, really. Um, so I about we're few, talking about conspiracy theories. Conspiracy theories. That's the theme. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Yeah. conspiracy. <laughs> that is the uh the uh overall theme of this week's podcast. Episode. Um, episode Indeed. whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, this conspiracy theory has surfaced over the last. I'm gonna say three weeks. It's been it's been about three weeks to a month. Um, about the Malaysia flight, the Malaysia flight 370 conspiracy. Now wasn't that like five years ago? I know it was five years ago, but this conspiracy has came up about it ever since. Okay. 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 So um, it started out this guy on Twitter. Um, his username is straight away, but his real name is Ty. He received a voicemail from an unknown number. Um, and the voicemail said it was said danger SLS. It is dire for you to evacuate. They are not human. SOS, danger SOS. Now, this is on a loop because when you listen to the voicemail, 
the very beginning beginning of it starts out with S danger SOS. Like it was on it was on a continuous loop, which means that it wasn't somebody waiting for a voicemail to talk. It it's 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 a looping message. Um now like I said, messages were first received by I thought I just okay. Sorry, got a little distracted. Eleanor, no. Looping messages. Looping messages. <laughs> looping messages. Um, now, like I said, it came the first guy to receive these messages uh, by the name of Straightaway. Uh, now, in this message, it also gives coordinates. Now, the coordinates, um, I don't know how to read coordinates, so just trust me on this. Um, it's usually latitude, longitude. Yeah. Have you ever written? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, uh, 04. It's for Fahrenheit. <laughs> Four degrees Celsius. That is degree, actually. Uh, oh, four degrees, 29, uh, comma, 33, other two comma. comma. <laughs> like I said, we don't know how to read it, so just trust us on this. Now, if you search these coordinates, you will get the area that the, Mila the Malaysia, the Malaysia flight supposedly went down. Malaysian. Malaysian. <laughs> Um, now, some people say that this could be a black box recording, uh, which a black bo a black box recording is the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder. Now they store this in the uh, in the tail of the plane. In the asshole of the plane. Yeah, straight in the fucking orifice of the plane, because that is the least likely part of the plane to get damaged or break or fall apart. Um, now the reason that that was kind of weird to me, like a black box recording would come to somebody via voicemail on their phone. That's just odd to me. But as I, as I went a little bit deeper into this uh, string of posts, um, some guy said that all this happened after two large solar flares in the, the UK and Southern Asia. Now, um, when solar flares happen, they release this electromagnetic, like, I don't want to say pulse, but energy into the air. And that allows signals like radio signals or cell phone signals to be amplified and uh, reach further distances. So shortly after posting um, the stuff about the voicemail, Ty received a message in, in what they are assuming is an Indonesian language um, that translated to in the post you just shared about the phone recording. Um, and that's, I mean, they translated it via Google Translate, and that's what it said in the post you just shared about the phone recording. Um, now, the account that sent that message was deactivated, but before it was, the person tweeted in Arabic, warning, coming. Kind of weird, kind of ominous. Um, now, after the account disappeared, it immediately came back and then tweeted um, the numbers 28525. 1185 and then 41118. Now, um, if you write out the alphabet and you match up the alphabet, it is, it is one, yeah, it is two. yeah, with numbers that translates to they're, they're taking over on April 18th, 2018. Like I, I said, heard about this somewhere on the yeah. Like I said, just a bunch of bullshit. Um, could be real, could not be real. I just think it's really interesting and kind of strange, but there is a, a part of it that kind of tied it all together for me um, that I'll talk about at the end here. Um, now, periodically throughout the week, uh, this Thai guy continues to get messages from the same guy in Morse code. Um, now, I only found one of the original messages that he received in Morse code, and the message said, uh, the message you received is well related to Stephen Hawking's death. You are not ready to face them. Once again, kind of fucking weird. More messages come up in some uh, language. Some people are saying Indonesian. Um, oh, shit. There's my phone. Now, I'll have to read this to you off my cell phone because my fingers hurt and I didn't want to keep writing. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, he received a uh, another me a message in Indonesian. Okay. And the message said, you may not find 370, you, wait, wrong one. 
Found it. Okay. Existing recordings via phone at twitter.com. Above is used for confidential information that should not be related to an AWARN account. If no account, if no action is taken, the matter will be reviewed and any penalties can be imposed. Status 8356512. Thank you for your cooperation. You cannot reply to this message according to KE7880Y. Once again, nobody fucking knows what that means. Um, I'm just reading you what I have found. Um, now, a video on CNN. There's a video on CNN.com that is titled Sounds from Inside Flight 370's Cockpit. Now, all of those voicemails that many people not just this tie kit many people have come out and said yeah i have received those voicemails too um so it's not just one guy and you know all of those voicemails that these people are receiving are the same exact noises that you can find in the video on cnn.com about the 370 voice flight um and two days before this guy received the voicemail someone walked past his house at 3 a.m and he was taking pictures of it with the flash on, just very obviously snapping pictures of his house. Is that related? I don't know. Like I said, I just wrote down everything that I could find. Um, now I'm trying to figure out where this picture on my phone comes into play at, because I, I think I... Thank you. I don't have to keep bringing me my purse, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, now this end part is what really, really mm, kind of freaked me out. Now, I was scrolling through Facebook today because that's all I do because I don't have a job right now. Um, one second. Yeah. I have a lunch right now. Okay. So, I was uh, scrolling through videos on my Facebook feed and a video about Fortnite comes up. Now, I'm not a video game person, so normally I just want to scroll right the fuck past it. But, for some reason, I kept watching it. I don't know why. Um, now, I guess that Players of the game Fortnite said that around April 1st, I think it was before April 1st, uh, that a comet appeared in the sky uh, on the game Fortnite. And people thought that it was just an April Fool's joke and that it would disappear, you know, the next day. And when it didn't, you know, people started to dive a little bit deeper into the meaning of the comet. Now, this, um, I want to say Reddit user realized that the vibrations, because their, their controls would vibrate for no reason, and the vibrations, when he mapped out mapped it out in Morse code, it actually had, like, a, a legible message. And um, it is, it gives coordinates D5, and then it says SOS, and then the date April 18th. Kind of fucking weird in relation to, you know, the Malaysia flight uh, conspiracy that mm -hmm. I've been talking about. Um, now, when you look up the coordinates D5 in the game Fortnite, it takes you to a place on the map where the tilted towers are. I don't know what that means. I don't play the game Fortnite. Now, um, more people have come out and said that the Fortnite map looks strikingly like the map of Poland. And if you take the coordinates where the tilted towers are on Fortnite and copy it over to uh, Poland, it takes you to a place in Poland con called Ponzan. Ponzan, Poland. Now, Ponzan, Poland is actually, um, you might have heard on the news in 15 and 17, um, that that's a place for, for uh, many comet strikes. There's actually large, like, gigantic you divots. meteors? Yeah. Okay, because comets are on a fixed, yeah. they go with the yeah. tails. Yeah, no, no, meteor meteors. strikes is meteor. Uh, I actually think I have meteor strikes. Yeah, I have meteor strikes written. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote it. Um, Ponzan, Poland is a place that gets hit by meteors very regularly. And um, it just so happens that the... What? You need to wait for the mouse. Sorry, I was scratching my eyes. That the... One second, she's looking something up on her phone. Yeah. Bear with us. 2018. Do, 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 do. Ponza and Poland gets hit by meteors? No, um, yeah, well, that. But asteroids and whatnot? What the fuck? What is the name of the of the meteor shower that always happens around this time of year? Meteor. Meteor. And meteor. it's called, like, it's called, like, Tibid. Or Tyrid. T-Y-R-I-D. 
But anyways, it just so happens that there is an annual um, New Year's shower that happens in April between the 18th and 25th every year. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where most of Ponds and Poland gets its New Year's shower. Interesting. And that's about all I have for that. I mean, I just thought it was really interesting, and I'm super into conspiracy theories <coughs> that, that all these things are pointing to April 18th. Yeah, kind of fun. Well, I mean, it's like... I don't even know, and I normally don't believe in this kind of shit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just cool to, you know, look at it and research it and kind of, mm -hmm. you know. And believe in it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and pray to it. <laughs> so, pray to God out of it, pray to it, worship it. I guess what we're saying really is, uh, keep an eye out for April 18th, and if shit doesn't happen, alright. Yeah, and I thought it was kind of, you know, at first I thought, oh my fucking god, it's the, the apocalypse. <laughs> It is the rapture. The line that gets me is, um, they're not human. Yeah. Freaks me out just a little bit. I like that. Yeah, there were there were multiple other ones that I didn't add because, you know, they're not really, like, um, important to the storyline of, mm -hmm. of the theory. Um, that, like, the people that kept messaging this Thai kid mm -hmm. that, uh, that they're not aliens. Like, they're people just hiding among us. Like, it was people that were on the airplane. Not that they got attacked by aliens, but that it was, like, people that are also aliens on the airplane. Which is kind of strange. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to look into this, too, because I, I do fancy a good, uh, good conspiracy. Yeah, I, I dig some good conspiracies. Yeah, I heard some of this. Well, I before. mean, I, I, you've, heard the theory, you've heard the theory that there's a... People on this planet that live among us disguised as humans that aren't humans. That are actually lizards. Yeah. Well, yeah. the yeah. only way you can tell is when you wear the special sunglasses. Yeah. <clears throat> He's talking about a movie. And wrestle know. a black guy in an alley. And, is uh, he black? No. no. <laughs> He's here to uh, chew bubble gum and he's all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, it. I'm here to <laughs> No, she got it perfectly. <laughs> I'm here to chew bubblegum and I'm all out of bubblegum. So if I'm anybody has any bubblegum, that's the only reason why I came here. I'm here to eat ass and chew bubblegum. Wait, I'm here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. I'm here to eat ass. I'm here to eat bubblegum. I'm here to eat ass. And. <laughs> Well, we're not Nelson. <laughs> How did you feel about this week's conspiracy schmiracy? I think it is pretty solid of a theory. <laughs> and I think we should also all collectively take a look into the Grandma Dome theory. <laughs> Next week on Conspiracy Schmiracy, we will talk about the Grandma Domes. <laughs> you know, my mom always used to tell me, if at first you don't succeed... That's it. Next week we will be calling up my friend and pal Roy. Roy is a survivalist out of Colorado. And he talks like a banjo. <laughs> <laughs> you know how some people be like, that's how he sounds. Well, my mom. Are you talking or playing a banjo? <laughs> My it's mom always used hard. to say, if at first you don't succeed, there's always work at the post office. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, I'm injured, Johnny. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is the end of this D&D session. We hope to see you next week. Don't you think it's weird that we never talk about D&D? &D? Uh, no. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was a solid ending. <laughs> Happier with an ending. Hi. Oh, Hi. That was good. That was really good. That was really, really good. She she took notes. Yeah. That's we, we came up with that, uh, that William and uh, uh okay. Let me give you let me give you a few notes. Okay. okay. Uh the main problem that I have is the fact that your notes are legible. <laughs> Fucking sorry, I think that's uh, sloppy. As you can see here, if you're going to be a podcaster and take notes, you really have to uh, you scribble things. them like a madman. <laughs> as you can see. We are. I, I think this is pretty sloppy handwriting. My podcast notes look like 
if someone found my podcast notes lying on the floor of an airport, <laughs> there would be a lockdown. <laughs> I think that you're, That's what my podcast your notes Your podcast like. notes are kind of like aesthetically pleasing. Very small, very straight. Like, do you use a fucking ruler? No. You have very nice penmanship. Yeah, Thank it's you. it's very. My uh, handwriting hasn't changed since I was like eight, and you can kind of tell. Neither is Christian's. Yeah. And it's really bad. Huh. Neither is Matt's. I think it's just a mm. guy thing. Maybe. The thing is, because it's like when you're when you're a little when you're like middle school, it's special for you to have beautiful handwriting, like all the girls can talk about. And off. girls yeah. got to write pretty. Girls got to yeah. write them pretty letters. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay.